We just saw a great show here Saturday afternoon in Bakersfield, and now we've got a big personality who's making a big splash in the monster truck scene, Todd Weston, Uncle Todd Motorsports. Now tell us a little bit about all this stuff you guys got going on. You broke into the sport here over the last year, and you're really doing some cool stuff. Tell us first about Black Knight, and then we're going to move into the real big thing you got going here. All right, the Black Knight. We bought it off of Scott Hartsock, who is the gunslinger. That was the former cowboy truck. Uh, great truck, performs very well, and that got us into the uh, into the game. Uh, we're real excited about it. Very, very um, uh, good truck. It, uh, like I said, it performs well. We enjoy it. Uh, I call it an easy maintenance truck, but it, it does well, and we're, we're, we're feeling good. Of course, we took that, and uh, we're going to put Hillbilly into it now, and he's uh, run, been running for this season and carried out through the season, and that'll be our main driver for now. Always looking for drivers, as I always say, because they always need backups. Well, Hillbilly's doing a great job out there. We've had a lot of fun watching him. But now let's get into to what, you know, is the big story here. And that's your son, KJ. And he's making a big splash out here in Monster Trucks. Tell us how this idea got started and tell us about Monster Bear. All right. Uh, extremely exciting. We're so enthusiastic about it. We just love it. Um, KJ started out when uh, he asked, uh, he said he wanted to drive Monster Trucks. So we bought him a Grave Digger go-kart. Takes a look at this thing and he says, you know, that's not the big one. I said, big one? So we bought him a big one. We ended up speaking with uh, Dan Patrick, who led us on to Steve Combs. And uh, Steve had originally fabricated the small half trucks, as he calls them, mini monster truck series. And we took this and modified it for KJ with a hydraulic boost system, the pedals and everything else. So, but it's got everything our big head truck does between uh, the uh, rear steering, fire suppression system. It's got all the safety equipment and everything else in it. And uh, KJ just said, Daddy, I want to drive. And so we, we thought he was... He was serious. He's always been serious. He takes it very seriously. When we got him in it for the first time, he took it out on our ranch in, uh, in uh, northern Florida, and he drove it as, as if it was uh, he'd been in it for years. Now, of course, when I say that, he, he obviously still had to learn the mechanics of the of the rear steer and everything else. And from there, uh, Monster X Tours uh, gave him an opportunity. We've been out with them now. I think he's probably done about 30 shows for them. And we got about 45 this year coming up. And he just he loves to drive. It's a, it's a passion. I mean, it, it, a true passion. It's not where I, I don't have to ask him to drive. He wants to drive. Well, it really is a neat concept. And one of the cool things that we see here at the shows is it's amazing how much the kids really get in to watching, you know, someone their age out there performing in front of everybody. They very much can relate to, to KJ. They feel as if they all look up and say, I can drive one of those. As opposed to the big trucks, they're in awe. No question about it. You can't even come close. But this comes as close as they can feel, and they feel like they can do it. Uh, we've decided we're going to do a junior monster truck league, which uh, Monster X Tours is going to proceed with this summer. We've got um, a second truck already done, and uh, that's in, uh, completing the works. We're just modifying it now. And we have two more trucks, so we'll have a total of four. And we're always going to be looking for drivers, young drivers. I mean, it's a commitment. It's a, this is a professional race truck. It's, uh, it's treated as a, a true press for race truck where it's not a toy. Uh, you might say, hey, there's a kid with this toy, but it's not. It's, it's a serious race truck. It has everything, as I mentioned, that our big one does, and, if, and it's got to be handled. You've got the safety issues. You've got the instruction and direction. And I can't tell you how much the drivers have been so great in helping him and giving him tips. I mean, you can Dan Runty comes up and spends time with him. You've got uh, uh, a California kid here, uh, Titan. you got the, uh, you know, everybody. They're just saying, KJ, anything we can do, and they're giving them tips because I'm dad. I can, I can help them through it, but I'm not the driver that they are. All right, fans. Well, now we're going to take a second here, and we're going to talk to the superstar himself. KJ, you're all strapped in here, ready to go. Saturday night in Bakersfield. You going to put on a good show for these guys tonight? Yes. Now, yeah, I, tell, me, tell me honestly. I mean, you've got to like being out here in front of all these fans and uh, putting on a show for these guys. That's a pretty good time, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really good time jumping the cars. Now, are all the other kids at school pretty jealous that you get to drive a monster truck on the weekend? No, because they really don't believe me. Hey, you got to tell me this much, though. I bet the girls like uh, that you drive the monster truck, don't they? One's here, yeah. All right, man. Well, we're getting ready for the show tonight. You going to put on a good show for these Bakersfield fans? Yeah. All right, Monster Blog fans, that's Kid KJ. Well, coming up next, we talk to the youngest. We're going to talk to one of the guys who's been around the longest, veteran driver Dan Runny and Bigfoot. 
Always great to introduce you to new personalities on TMB TV and Kid KJ, world's youngest monster truck driver. Pretty neat concept they got there. But now we've got the legend himself, Dan Runny with the Summit Bigfoot. Dan, here this weekend in Bakersfield, we'll see you for the first time here. A hot looking new ride. Tell us about this uh, new ride with Summit. This is actually one we just did. You know, it's 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 a scheme off with their drag cars and their their other race vehicles. You know, everybody's getting in the same paint scheme as far as the sponsorship package with Summit. And it's just it's one of the coolest. It is the coolest Summit body that we've ever painted. Nick did a really good job on it. Now you've been pretty lucky with the Bigfoot team. I mean, you've always been getting the cool bodies lately. You got in the retro foot last year, and now this deal. And I mean, we'll show it up close here during the interview, but the detail on that paint job is incredible. It is, and, it, and it, I mean, you of all people you today actually mentioned, you know, it photographs really well. It just, it's a bright truck, it jumps at you, and that's what you want. I mean, it, it just turned out really neat. Now let's talk about the competition level out here on the Monster X Tour. I mean, Danny's put together a wild lineup for these California and Oregon shows, and uh, these Monster Truck Mafia guys are giving you a hard time here this weekend. Yeah, I mean, it is. Everybody is. You know, it, it's just, we got a lot of, lot of good trucks here. We're running a lot of small buildings. Uh, I can, like I said, I didn't make up a ton of excuses, but a lot of it's been my fault. I just, I'm off a little and I, I need to get it back together. You know, it, it's a small building and have troubles turning. Plenty of horsepower, it's not the truck's fault, and I can't blame anybody else on that. It's just, yeah, I need to get it together. I need to do something. Well, now back on Friday night, though, wheelie contest. I mean, you arguably could have walked away with the win on that one. Fans gave it to Rockstar. But talk about that special wheelie move that really we only see Dan Runny do, and that's when you set that thing up on the back tires, hit the gas, and walk it up off the cars. Yeah, you know, it, it is. That, that's a neat move. It's something that we've been doing for a while, and, and it's all in timing. You know, you got to be able to get it vertical enough that you can set it on there so you can walk it off. You know, Friday night, that was questionable. I, I, yeah, I'm going to argue with you a little bit on that one. I, I really believe it was mine, but you got to go off the fan base. That's how they do the wheelie contest. I mean, that's what it boils down to. We're just going to have to try a little harder. Might have to lose a tailgate. Hey, now that would be pretty cool. Uh, so tonight, I mean, you're throwing that out there. This is the last show of the weekend. You got a whole week. What are we going to see out of Bigfoot? We're actually going to run it. I mean, I've run it hard all weekend. Uh, kind of got in a bad deal last night with the uh, freestyle thing, you know, and, and a truck being in the middle, but it broke. And, and it, there again, it's for the fans, you know, and two more trucks to do freestyle. We can freestyle around it. We did a fairly decent job, but I'm going to run the truck tonight. I mean, I'm going to run it as hard as I can run it. And if something bad happens i guess it happens well there it is that's dan runny fans you've seen him on tmb tv all four years we've been doing this and you're gonna see a show out of him tonight here in bakersfield hey guys we're in bakersfield california tonight last show had one just a little bit ago we've got monster trucks got freestyle motocross we've got quad wars it's been a great show man i'll tell you what uh titan is stepping up his game Bill, I don't know what the deal is. He still hasn't rolled the rock star. It's just not, I don't know, man. It's just, it's amazing. The gyro in the bottom is the thing that's keeping it going. But it's going to be a great show, man. Monster Truck Mafia has represented it very well here tonight. And uh, i tell you what, we got the blog here, man. Monster Blog, TMB TV, rocks, baby. This is Roller. We're making it happen in Bakersfield, California, man. Peace out.
real good. I was doing real good until I flipped over uh, on my roll. I think that, uh, don't get me wrong, but I believe I got shut off. Uh, it would have been a good save, but I rolled it on its side, but it was, it was a hard tore all out. Everybody done real good on uh, wheel stands this evening, so it was a good show. Wheelie contest was a lot of fun. Didn't quite get what I wanted on Friday night, so figured I'd step it up a little bit, try to get it up and walk across them. And then, of course, everybody has to go out and do big old wheelies, so it kind of worked against me a little bit, but I had fun doing it. Oh, it was pretty good. I thought we did pretty good. It uh, went up and I broke the back of the bed off, but to be Rockstar, you've got to almost roll over or walk all the way across the cars. I cleared them, but it was a whole bunch of fun, and he's a pro. Actually, it was. I mean, the dirt's actually become a lot more solid, so the truck's hooking up a lot better. It's driving under itself. I mean, like I said, getting back in the groove of things, but that was a pretty cool week. We're starting to get the hang of this truck. It's acting just like the old Rockstar. We're able to do the whole walk the dog thing. Got it right on the back bumper. We got a new super bumper on this truck. It's uh, working good. We're planning the back end, walking right across the cars onto the dirt, kept on walking, set it down just enough to kick Donald's butt. You know, can't let the old peasant beat me.